10 game road trips aren't always easy, but you guys just had another winning one and you ended it on quite a high note. Big day offensively, great day from Jake. How do you sum it up? Yeah, it was. It was a good, uh, it was a very good road trip for us. Um, you know, we came into today's game with a chance to have a good winning trip and, you know, you get some positive, good positive feelings leaving, uh, you know, getting off the road and, and getting back home. And Jake went out there and just again uh, did something similar to what he's done the entire uh, the entire year for us and um, threw the ball very well kept uh, the opposition kind of in a you know in a place where if we put some runs on the board we could be okay I thought he did a nice job and uh, obviously we got one of those good offensive days from our guys and uh, up and down the lineup I think you can look to basically every single spot and we got really nice contributions from everyone yeah you have had a couple tight battles in the wins so far on the road trip but to end it on one of these kind of blowout games that we've seen pretty frequently from your guys. How nice is it to end on that kind of performance? Well, honestly, we, we've played some difficult games on this trip. We've played some good teams. Um, these, these, all these teams, they played us tough. Um, to have a, you know, to have one game at the end to you know, that was like, you know, because of the score, you know, slightly lower stress environment. It's, it's actually nice for our guys um, because they've been kind of locked in basically every game we've played. And um, that we've had to in order to win the games that we've won. So it was, uh, it was certainly, a, I think it was certainly a good way to end the trip. Nelson Cruz got things kind of rolling there with the home run. How nice to see him have a home run now in four straight, especially just kind of coming off of a tough injury. Yeah, he seemed, uh, he seemed locked in from the beginning of the game today and, and had some really good swings. He even missed a couple of pitches today on some, some very, you know, on quality swings that, uh, you know, they look good from where we were sitting. So. Um, I, I think he, I think he looks uh, not just fine. I think he looks really good at the plate. He's laying off some tough pitches, and he's just doing his thing. And and you see what happens. The way he impacts the ball is is very unique, and the, the certain pitches that he can get the barrel to is unique. I mean, that's why he's that's why he's one of the best hitters in the game. Jake um, can spot that fastball for strikes too. Besides the swings and misses, how much does that lead to some of those swings and misses that he can affect? Guys can't kind of just spit on it, basically. Well, Jake can. Pit. We talk about Jake's strengths and you know how he's doing, what he's doing right now. He, he is a guy who has a fastball that's a weapon. He knows how to pitch with it. It's not. It's not a one-dimensional thing either, where he just goes out there and, and throws it. You know, as if he is one of those guys that relies on velocity or, or one particular uh, trait. Um, he he pitches with it. He can make it do different things. He actually even threw, I, I believe, um, to get maybe a strikeout or two, he even threw, I think, his two-seamer. I might want to ask him, but from where, you know, from the dugout, it looked like this was a pitch he went to um, when he needed to kind of give the hitter a different look. And again, he, he has great feel for what he's doing out there, and it leads to just making good adjustments, and that's what leads to, to getting outs. Like uh, Eddie, when he got the single, kind of threw his hands up and celebrated a little bit. Does he seem like he'd had a little bit of tough luck on the trip at times there? Yeah, I, I mean, you know, we've had we've seen guys. That we just saw it with Kep. You know, we're talking about a guy that doesn't have a hit in a few games. Then he goes, you know, hits goes out and hits three homers. Um, we saw Rosie again earlier in the year, not have hits for a few games, and then he gets super hot and hits I don't know ten home runs. It felt like in a couple of weeks. Um, I, I don't think anyone here has uh, even had a thought that Rosie was scuffling, so I didn't even, again, even pick up on that at all. Um, he looked good. He's, he's taking good swings. He's even had long at-bats where he's, you know, fouled a bunch of pitches off. And regardless of what those at-bats lead to, they, they create good opportunities for our team and for the guys that follow him in the lineup when he can do things like that. So I know he was doing the no batting gloves thing too and got his hit and then went back to his batting gloves. I don't know if that has anything to do with anything, but um, he looks good. You talked about the unique qualities that Nelson has as a hitter. Is that the reason he's been able to have so much success at this park, which is not exactly an easy park to hit home runs? Um, I, I don't know. I, I, I'm not really sure. I, I don't know what he's looked like in the past here. I'm sure um, it's been impressive. Um, but he's, he's incredibly strong, uh, but he has a really, really direct path to the ball. He's just a, he's just a good hitter who just happens to be really strong. And when you add those things together, you end up with, you know, one of the, again, uh, one of the best hitters that that we've seen. You know, one of the best hitters of our generation. So you end up with, with that. Um, it's it's pretty unique. You know, sometimes the swings he puts in the ball, they're so direct, but the bat's moving, you know, 
so quickly you, you can just see the impact coming. Um, sometimes it's it, and again he's he's got that maturity as a hitter where he he can think along with what's going on and have a pretty good idea about uh, how he's being attacked there's just a lot of good things that you can say about him as a hitter